Hello. Come right on in. You're it, Father Fish. Nice to have you with us. So my background, yes. Um, I uh, moved from Odenton, Maryland, which is the little country town in South Central Maryland, near right outside of Fort Meade Second Army Headquarters. When I was 15, moved to Baltimore City, into the big city, and it was exciting. I was a student then for two years at Baltimore City College, and I reveled in it. It was wonderful. It was a boys, an all boys school, and across the street was an all girls school. Uh, and I had a girlfriend who was magnificent, beautiful, brilliant. We did so many things together that were such great fun. And then we both went away to college. She went to Huntington in West Virginia. I went to Union College in Barberville, Kentucky. And my heart was broken. And I could not survive separation from her. So I ended the relationship. Didn't write her back. And spent four years at Union, got a degree, went from there to Boston University, married another little girl, was at BU for a semester. And then uh, with all kinds of marriage issues mostly, brought my bride back to Baltimore where we worked in social service. I was a caseworker for a Department of Welfare for two years, I think. Did a lot of really interesting stuff. Got a scholarship to go back to seminary, graduate school at Tufts, Brain Theological School at Tufts University. Was there for three years, got a degree, went out to Western Maryland to a little town called Northfield, Massachusetts, Western Mass. Little town called Northfield, Massachusetts. I was the pastor of a Unitarian church there for two years. That was a remarkable experience. Someday I may get into it. Left there and came back to Baltimore. Now I should say the reason I went into ministry was to follow my father. My father was a Methodist pastor who worked with deaf people. His parents were deaf. And he was the pastor of a church for deaf people for 35 years. So I came back to Baltimore and began running a runaway house in Baltimore. It did that for about two years and then went back into ministry with the Methodist Church. Served four little country churches up in Frederick, Maryland, Urbana, Flint Hill, Araby. Urbana, Flint Hill, Araby, and can't remember. Hey, it'll come to me. Funny little town. While I was there, my father and I made plans for me to come into his work. He had begun working at the State School for the Deaf with the parents of deaf children, which is something that he found enormously rewarding. And I was to come in and take over the church. We got together and made specific plans on a Saturday in March of 1974. Two days later, he was shot and killed on the street in front of his home in Baltimore. I immediately moved into his ministry. My father was killed. I took over his ministry. I had anticipated being trained by him. Um, by this time, I had spent nine years in college in preparation for this ministry. With him gone, 
I didn't have the training or the source for that training. So I simply did what I knew to do, which was social services, basically. So I built a, I, I, I opened a, an agency, started an agency to provide general services to deaf people. And then uh, built a $20 million uh, apartment complex. While I was at it, I became active with the effort to bring a public aquarium to Baltimore. Uh, it was a bond issue, which we got passed. And I wound up on the board of directors of the National Aquarium for five years. That was exciting. Left that ministry in 1985 and retired. I was pretty thoroughly burned out. Kicked around. My mother dragged me down to Florida, hit here in 91, publishing a newsletter for a while, and then got into fish, which I'd always had. But I sort of got into it commercially as a way to support myself. And I've been doing that ever since. And that's really what I'm doing now. It's a retirement hobby. I don't really make any money at it, but it keeps me active, alive, and busy and involved with other people. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Well, I hope you found something you've never seen before. Have a great day. Nice to have you with us. Come on back.